Hey guys, I'm excited to share with you a first look at the Mini IT13 from Geekom. Now, Geekom are not really a brand that I'd come across until recently. I started seeing lots of things on YouTube about them, saw some new AS6 platforms from them, and thought, I'd be very interested to find out what they're all about. So, I went ahead and ordered the new IT13, this, Oh, premium packaging. This is the 13th gen i9-13900H processor in this tiny little box, 32 gig of RAM and a two terabyte M.2 SSD. Let's have a look. I mean, firstly, yes, kudos for the excellent packaging, but let's take a look at how tiny this thing is. It is tremendous, look at this. We've got two USB 3.2 ports right on the front, headphone jack power. Kensington lock, because you're gonna to wanna to tie this down, make sure no one runs off with it, of course. Um, on the back, we've got four display outputs. Now this thing will actually support up to 8K. Don't know if that's across all of those yet. This is just our first look, but we've got two display port outs. We've got two HDMI outs, so we can run four separate displays. That's based on the uh, built-in Intel Iris Xe graphics that are in here. Two and a half gigabit LAN, USB 3, USB 2, we've got our 20 volt power supply there, um, and then we've got an SD card reader on the side, which is a really nice touch. Now, I've just been completely taken by these things, and I'm genuinely, whoa, wait, hang on, peel opportunity. Oh, nice peel. I've been genuinely thinking about replacing my laptop with one of these because 90% of the time I just spent sat at my desk in the office, then I'll travel home and the laptop's just becoming a bit of a compromise. In fact, I looked at the specs, now my laptop's four years old, okay? It's not super old, but it's a four year old Windows laptop. This is about 80% faster. Look at it, it's absolutely tiny. 80% faster. We've got the benchmark specs, I'll show you those here. Now, the reason that I'm thinking that is because I spend so much time sat at the same place at the same desk, I'm actually taking a compromise. The compromise is that the performance of this CPU versus the performance in my laptop is so tremendously different. And so if I want to have another laptop that I'm gonna take out and about with me and I wanna get this kind of performance, a 13700H, so not quite as good as this, 13700H from Dell in a lovely XPS 15 chassis, which I'll show you right here, is coming in at just shy of $2,000. Now, when I tell you the price point on this thing, I think you're gonna be blown away. $789, 679 UK pounds, and you get all that power in here. Not only that, this thing is completely upgradable as well. So if we have a quick look on the inside. Now, I'm just gonna hold this open for you because the upgradability is so super clear. Look at this. Here's our two terabyte M.2 drive. Now it's PCI Gen 4. So this, I mean, already this is a fantastic branded drive anyway. We can go ahead and put another 2242 M.2 drive in here. So up to about a terabyte there. We've got 32 gig of DDR4 RAM. DDR4 is a great choice because again, we've got some really good cost-effective kits that we can put in here. DDR5 is out, of course, but DDR4 means we get some nice low-cost memory upgrades, but it comes with 32 gig. We can upgrade it to 64. Again, we'll just swap out these sodium chips here. You'll also see we've got this nice little cable trailing across. Here, we can actually fit in a full-size SSD drive as well. So we can have one, two, three drives in this thing. Not to mention, of course, because it's got USB 4, we can attach external GPUs here, we could ex attach external storage, and we're gonna benefit from that USB 4 throughput. So all in all, as a piece of kit that's gonna sit on my desk and just provide raw processing power, this is amazing, I can't wait to get started. Now, one of the other things that you notice from this tiny form factor is obviously sitting on the desk is great, getting access to all those ports is nice and simple, but inside the box, I mean, we've got the usual accessories, of course. We've got the power, we've got the HDMI cable. Again, nice choice, pop that in. You've then got a mounting bracket. So the whole concept is that because you've got this mini PC, what we can actually do is take this mounting bracket and the screws, mount it on the back of your monitor. And so for a complete clutter-free experience, this thing is just gonna mount together and then be connected to the back of the monitor, completely out of the way. What an amazing form factor. I'm totally in love with this. Now, the one thing I have found, I'll admit I have booted it up um, because I just wanted to see if it came with any bloatware or anything just filled. It didn't. It actually only came with Windows 11 Pro. 
no bloatware whatsoever. It is completely clean. What you do hear though, is that fan really ramps up. So this compact form factor, one of the compromises of course, is that it is so small. So cooling is a, a bit of a challenge perhaps for a new 13th gen processor. When it's really running at full tilt, you can hear that fan. Now, it's not loud enough that it's gonna stop me and bother me, but it is also a good reason for me to think, hey, mounting it behind the monitor might be a great choice because then I'm gonna be shielded from that. What are the compromises? Well, I'm genuinely thinking of moving from a laptop back to a desktop. This seems a bit old school. Portability is obviously one. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna be able to carry this around and the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse. But if I'm honest, I'm sat in an office all day. I already have two monitors. I've got a keyboard, I've got a mouse. I've actually got a docking station that goes with the, the laptop that I use every day. I won't need that anymore because I'll just have this. And when I'm out and about, well, I mean, I've got a whole array of devices, much like you probably have. I've got iPads, I've got tablets, uh, I've got you know phones, I've got a Galaxy Fold that I can just use. I've got so many ways of keeping in touch with my clients or keeping in touch on email teams, whatever it is that I'm doing, that for that lightweight out of the office experience, I now don't need to be carrying around a laptop, a bag, a charger. I could literally just carry maybe a small tablet or just my phone. Because like many people, I spend my life in Outlook, Teams, Excel. I mean, everyone seems to run their business by Excel. So that's where I spend most of my days. Either that or I'm browsing or I'm on YouTube. All of those things I can do in a handheld device and I don't need to be lugging around what was essentially a two kilo laptop previously. So this could be a really interesting experiment. One thing I'm really impressed by with this Geekom unit, and I say this is a brand I don't know, but the build quality on this is absolutely fantastic. It is a rock solid piece of kit. You genuinely feel like I, I was expecting some cheap plastic rubbish. I've got to be honest for like 600, 700 pounds, but this is incredible. And the other thing as well is they've got some lower entry models. I mean, obviously this is the most expensive model that they have. They've got some lower entry models that go right the way down to about 159 pounds, 200 US dollars. And those things are capable of being used in like virtual desktop environments, really, really basic PCs, you know, web browsing, word processing, that kind of thing. If you're just doing that stuff, they've got much lower priced units. So I can't wait to get going with this thing. I will let you know how we get on. Subscribe down below, see how we get on with this thing. But I'm gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna be using this every day now as my work PC for a month. And I'm gonna figure out what are those compromises? What am I missing out on by not buying that fancy pants $2,000 Dell laptop? Let's find out.